All right, time for the math. Easy solution. We'll discuss the general power rule and look at uh, basically the derivative of y is equals x to the power of n, where n is any real number. In my previous video, I showed uh, the power rule where n is positive integer using definition derivative, but now here's a general one which is actually applies for everything and it's, it happens to be the same as the one before. So basically, we're going to use logarithmic differentiation to get this. If we have x y is equal to x to the power of n then basically what we could do here is ln both sides. We actually have to do absolute value here. I'll show you why in a second. ln absolute value of x to the n. So basically we do absolute value because th this function can be negative. You put, let's say, negative 1 or negative 5. But, and ln is only defined for, for greater than 0. But I showed my other video that if you have y is equal to ln absolute value of x, then the derivative is just y prime is equal to 1 over x. So yeah, regardless, uh, we could so we could just use the basically uh, absolute value of it, and then get the derivative of the y inside. So basically, uh, this n, this is uh, is using log rules. Uh, this goes down here, so we can simplify this whole thing to ln y is equal to n ln absolute value of x. Yeah, just uh, yeah. This 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 is why this is this is the reason why we actually do um, logarithmic differentiation, just because we could put the n down. So we, we don't have an exponent t to solve. Now we just do implicit differentiation. Derivative of ln y's is 1 over y. Number of absolute value is just, just 1 over y. From the this one I showed in my earlier video. And then we use chain rule times y prime. And again, y prime is just derivative. is just dy of dx. And just derivative in terms of x. So y prime in this one here is just going to be equal to and just a constant, so n times 1 over x. Yeah, so n over x. Let's do derivative of ln x's. And now here, just rearrange this. We're going to get basically y primes equal to n y over x. And y we know is equal to xn, so we're going to have n xn over x. And then using basically these um, power, power uh, properties of these ones, we could just, this one's going to equal to n. This is. Um, this is x to the 1. Basically, you're going to have x and minus 1. And this is the general power rule. And it's actually the same for that positive integer. So basically, if you have y is equal to x n, y prime is just going to be equal to, well, this is just going to be, you put the n down, x and minus 1. That's all it is. And that's a, that's a general power rule. So I'll just write that down, power rule. So now we're going to, here I'll give it a tough example, well actually the first one's an easy one. If you have y is equal to basically x 1.3, the derivative here is going to be y is equal to the y prime, put the 1.3 down, x 1.3 minus 1, and yeah, that's it. And that's just equal to, well it's going to be 1.3x, and this one is 0.3. So there's our derivative. So let's do a tough one where we need a logarithmic differentiation. So basically if you have, <coughs> say, x2, y is equal to x to the power of, uh, power of root x. Now this one is tricky, but remember with logarithmic differentiation, we ln both sides, we just bring this down. So we're going to ln both sides. So ln y is equal to ln x power of x. And then this one goes down. Remember, that's the main reason we do logarithmic differentiation, because so we can apply the log rules to simplify the function. It's so ln x. And then we just take derivative now. This one again, y, 1 over y times y prime. This one now we have to use product rule and the general power rule for this one, and then log rule, um, just lo derivative of ln there. So this one, we're going to have the derivative of this one. Is This one's also equal to, well, x 1 over 2. So we're going to have 1 over 2 x 1 over 2 minus 1. So we'll just write down 1 over 2 minus 1. And that is going to be, what is that? That's going to be negative 1 over 2 times ln x. And then this one we plus, plus root x times the root of, of ln x is 1 over x. So if we put this all together, we're going to have y primes equal to y times this in there, equal to 1 over 2, 1 over 2x, 
This one's uh, x is um, negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2. And then times ln x. And this this one is plus. This one, yeah, we could just uh, simplify. This one, this is going to be x 1 over 2 minus 1. Because this is 1 over 2, and that's uh, the bottom negative 1. Yeah, so that's. Then if we uh, simplify it even further, we're going to have y, y is equal to. Yeah, so this y is equal to x root x times this one. It would just be 1 over 2. We'll just put it at the bottom because that's what x negative 1 over 2 is times ln x plus this one. Again, this one's a negative 1, so we're going to have 1 over root x. And then we could also take it out, out of there. We're going to have x root x all over this one's going to be root x. I'm just simplifying it further. Just we're taking this out. We're going to have now 1 over 2 ln x plus 1. Uh, let's just simplify it even further, actually. This one's going to be um, this is x 1 over 2. So with this one, we just subtract this. We're going to have x root x minus this is uh, negative 1 over 2. Yeah, so minus 1 over 2 ln x plus 1. Or this one actually, yeah, this could actually be uh, root x. So we can actually do this. Cross it out, put the root x there, so that's even simplified further. Remember with uh, log rules, you could, you could, uh, pr you, the exponent, this fraction goes to an exponent there, so that's what it is. So you could simplify it all the way through here. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so this one's just an exercise and just uh, re reordering and whatnot. But, yeah, so basically, if you, just as long as you understand the principle here, just logarithmic differentiation to bring it down, then we could use the general power rule. Yeah, and uh, the general power rule, this one is the same as that one I showed before, but with uh, positive integers, but it applies for all values of n. So, um, also, yeah, an another note here, actually, uh, I guess we're lawning, he lawning it here. This one is... It we can't have uh, x equals zero, so we can't have this. But then, using definition derivative, if you have x is equal to zero, it's basically zero, and this equals to zero, and derivative of zero is just zero. Or, or um, yeah, it's basically when you plug it into the definition derivative, it just becomes zero. So this is all. Uh, yeah, this is all for today. Um, hopefully you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.